Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jones with another weekly video message, and I'm going to put that in the new issue of the SHS Warrior Call. Matter of fact, if you're seeing this, there's a good chance you're looking at our weekly newsletter as well. So, I just want to touch on two things this week. One is a continuation, one is something new. The continuation is from the whole thing I did last week on not I have to, but I get to. And the change in perception that that creates and how that changes your thinking and how you go about your day and the task at hand. I got such a great, positive, tons of comments on that and people chiming in on things that they look used to look at as I have to but noticed it would change if they said I get to. And some questions asking me about really... Um, when you comment that much because of the blog post I did, when you comment that much about how happy you are to be a principal and how lucky you feel you are to be a principal, but doesn't that come with some work during the day, paperwork, headaches, things like that? So what I thought I'd do today for the first part of this, and I'm moving quick so I don't take up too much time, I want to talk a little bit about my day today. So yeah, I get to, check this out, I get to work with colleagues who truly care, who are truly dedicated to making students the best possible students and people they can be so they can be as successful as they can be. An example you say, I sat in a meeting this morning, and I usually don't like meetings, but this meeting turned into a discussion about how we best support all students that may be struggling academically or socially while still upholding our educational values and standards. But the discussion quickly turned to how to support the student, what the student needs from us, and what more we can do for the student. I am truly lucky to be working with a bunch of colleagues that are willing to continue to put in more and put in more to help students succeed. That's caring, that's selflessness. Also, I get to, I then go into some classrooms and I see students. I get to be around high school students, I said that right, I get to be around high school students during the course of the day High school students are awesome. Great age, they're figuring things out. Sometimes they think they have everything figured out, but either way they're learning all the time and they're pushing boundaries, they're pushing themselves. I got to go into a class and watch a group of students reenact the Congress of Vienna. They were carving up countries in Europe, they were debating, they were arguing, and they were engaged. The students were prepared for the class, having fun while they were learning, and doing a great thing. They were debating, they were playing different roles um, that you know took place in history. So I get to see that and then I go down the hall and I see students in a conversation about the role gender plays in society's perception of people. So they watch a little bit of video, they talk about historically how people view different genders and gender roles and the students again are engaged, are laughing, are enjoying their education. And then I come back down to my office, pick up a phone call from a parent, and in the course of this conversation with this parent, I had to stop and think how lucky we are to have so many parents that truly are interested in what's best for their student. And even better, they're not always interested in just what's best for their student, but they do take into account the bigger picture that there are a lot more students involved when you're talking about a high school. So they're invested, they're engaged, notice a pattern with a word yet, in how their students are doing and what the school is doing for their students. It's about engagement. It's about really giving back. So that's the first part. So when you, when you think you have to and you question if I really am that happy and that grateful to be a principal, that's just a little bit of a taste of it, uh, of what I do during the day and some of the great things that happen. The next thing I want to talk about really quick, I want to challenge everybody. Because it is about giving back, it's about letting people know what you think of them and how well they're doing. I want you to take some pennies, five. Usually you want to do ten. I've heard it, I read about this and I heard somebody talk about it. Put ten pennies in a pocket, five if you want to start slow, in one pocket. Throughout the course of the day, find ten different occasions where you can compliment somebody on something they're doing good with. Don't make things up or silly things or anything like that. But seriously, when you can tell somebody something nice, when you can give a compliment to somebody, when you can maybe brighten somebody's day, each time you do that in a different situation, take a penny out of that pocket, put it in your other pocket. You got it. You're going to try and do it ten times a day. If you want, start with five. Now, people that do this, come see me after you're able to do that 
maybe two, three days in a row where you get all the pennies. Not as easy as it sounds. And maybe we can work out something about you being noticed for how well you're doing with noticing other people. Hey, I always appreciate you taking the time to listen um, and read the newsletter. It really means a lot. It really means a lot to have you engaged in Seekonk High School and what's going on because this is a fantastic high school to go to, to work at, and to be part of. So, as always, be purposeful, act with integrity, build your character. You have a great weekend.